I think this was mentioned uh, earlier. Somebody is asking whether you stand on the merger of the county police department, police department and the sheriff's office. And what are your thoughts on the budget proposed by the county executive and the budget passed uh, by the last council? Robert, two questions. Only if I got As long as they want. Did you hear that? As long as I want. As to consolidation. That, that, that may get second guessed. Okay. He's he's got the microphone. As to consolidation. Consolid there he goes in the back of the room. Consolidation something of whose time. We have to be uh, consolidating all kinds of service. And if we consider the consolidation of the Bergen County Police into the uh, Sheriff's uh, Office, we are not doing a wrong thing. However, I've read all of the studies uh, with reference to the, uh, the Sheriff's Department and the County Police, and I Could I? Just going in and out. And I believe that the uh, studies are now out of date. Uh, there are figures uh, based upon uh, new contracts that have been executed with the Bergen County Police, which actually make the Bergen County Police pay scale about 20% less than the Sheriff's Department. So indeed, uh, on just that one level, if we merge the uh, Bergen County Police into the Sheriff's Department, and once again, these are not the top levels of the uh, Bergen County Police. These are the entry levels into the Bergen County Police based upon the uh, most recent contract with them. And so indeed, if we merge the county police into the uh, Sheriff's Department, those entry level positions will be paid uh, at a higher level in the Sheriff's Department. So what I'm saying is that I'm for anything that will conserve funds and save money for the county uh, and its taxpayers. And if, uh, if the merger will in fact save money, I'm absolutely for it. However, because of the evolving contracts and evolving uh, labor conditions, I believe it has to be restudied first. Once we get that study in, whatever the study says and uh, recommends as the uh, cheapest way to go, I'm with. As to the budget that's been passed, I do have some comments as well. Kathy Donovan uh, uh, cut the budget four years ago and has kept it low for the last four years. This year what happened is that the Kathy uh, produced a budget uh, that is still way lower than the budget which was left to her, millions left, less than, than was left by the McNerney administration, and was voted on by David Gans many years ago. And yet this year, what's happened is that the Democrats have drawn some money out of trust funds in order to make the taxes just marginally lower so that they can claim that they uh, actually lower taxes. In fact, taking these million dollars out of trust funds has now depleted the trust funds. And if we're going to be uh, keeping spending at the same level next year, those trust funds are no longer available to use, and we will be left in a deficit position. So what that means for January 1st of next year is that we're going to be in a deficit position, and we've got two options. We're either going to have to raise taxes to cover the deficit that we've been left, because those trust funds will not be replenished, or we're going to have to uh, cut jobs and services. Thank you. I rather suspect that uh, Chairman Gans would like to answer that. Uh, actually, Bob, uh, $1.5 million in trust funds of $100 million in trust funds were used, roughly 1.5% of the trust funds that were involved. But much more importantly, uh, the budget that Kathy Donovan supported and continues to propose is a budget that would raise the taxes of the people. We cut them by seven million dollars. Uh, yeah, as far as, uh, I, I was like shaking my head, which I should hate myself, but the thing is that um, these trust funds, David just said, 1.7 million dollars were taken out of over a hundred million dollars. And these trust funds are sustainable so we're not depleting them at all. That's number one. Number two, um, the budget, and David was the chairman of the budget, uh, we went line by line. We had over 21 meetings. We cut uh, a little bit here and a little bit there until we saved $7 million. And one of the things that, as I go around, and I don't mean to digress, but I can't help it, I'm a teacher. 
one of the things is when I go around to different towns and talk to people, they say, but my taxes went up. And what a lot of people don't seem to understand is your property tax, 60% of it goes to the schools approximately, 30% to the running of the municipality. And we on the county, and we have many, many services we provide for Bergen County, get 10%. That 10% did not go up, it went down. We, can't, we, ha we don't have control over municipal taxes. And so that's where we have to educate the public as to where their tax dollars are going. So Bernadette, you gonna solve this for us? She's shaking her head and I'm back. For years, they were filling trust funds as opposed to paying down taxes at that time. If we all did that in our own personal budgets, um, we wouldn't have any money left in our own personal budget. So it's no surprise that in an election year, suddenly all this money became available to spend. That's the first thing. The second thing with the police merger, um, as we've poured over the documents, which I'm sure many of you have heard about, but never read. Well, we've all read them, we've all looked at them. And I happen to manage also in my, in my role at my, uh, at my job, I manage a fleet of vehicles, Ford vehicles as a matter of fact. The Interceptor is one of those vehicles. The Interceptor is, is widely used now as a police vehicle. Uh, the state contract, I think, is 21 and change up to 25, depending on what you have in the vehicle. That's for a basic police car. Anybody that's in a municipality that's ever purchased a police car knows that every single police car has to be fit for an officer to get in it and serve his community. So when you put the light package, the packages for all of the computers, um, the safety features for carrying firearms in there, your police vehicles cost about $45,000. So, you know, just one simple thing with the police merger that's just not, not passing muster is that you would then, if you did the merger, you would have to take every single vehicle that is not up to code to have a police officer go out in and bring it up to code. So any aftermarket purchase, if anybody's ever bought anything aftermarket for their car, the prices are gonna be, unbelievable per vehicle so that little tidbit was left out of the police merger plan and you know again you're going to bring lots of people to the to the table that have diversity this is one thing that i know i know that that little piece that they left out is going to cost the county millions of dollars Rich, next question okay sure with all due respect any of us that are on the field of board who've also been mayors, and that is a number of us, knows precisely what you're talking about. But that is exactly why the freeholders made the decision in their recommendation to not merge them, but rather to have the county police become and serve underneath the sheriff's department so that they would maintain their individual integrity, their individual equipment, until through attrition, it was finally completely brought together. 